Let's fix one of the most misapplied welding rules in structure design. See, if you are reducing fillet weld size by 1.5 m for T joints, you might be following the wrong rule and that could weaken your joint. Welcome to day 18 of 30 day structural engineering tips challenge. See, in structural welding, especially with the T joints, many engineers apply the same logic which is used for the corner joints, which is subtracting 1.5 mm from the plate thickness to find the maximum weld size. But see, here is the problem. That 1.5 mm deduction, it's only meant for square edges welds to avoid melting the arrows. See, T joints don't have sharp edges, they have surfaces. So applying that rule here, not necessary. See, according to IS 816 clause 6.2.2, the maximum fillet weld size for the T-joint is the thickness of the thinner plate. So no need to reduce it by 1.5 mm. So yes, for a 10 mm plate T-joint, an 8 mm weld is absolutely acceptable. But what if your tube thickness is just 2 mm or 2.6 mm? See, IS 816 table 1 gives a 3 mm minimum weld. But if your plate is thinner than that, there is a note which clarifies that just match the weld to the plate thickness. So forget the 3 mm rule and follow the base metal. Also, don't get caught up in 0.1 mm precision like 2.6 mm weld. It's not practical to execute on site. Round it off and stick to the standard tolerances. So, know your welds, use the code correctly and don't apply rules blindly. Would you have designed it in this way? Let me know your thoughts and save this tip for later. I'll see you in the next video.